Shelby County commissioners might have to appoint somebody to replace leaving State Senator Mark Norris. That appointment thing, as you know, it's a pretty big deal these days. Just last week, the Memphis City Council, even after more than 100 votes, couldn't cut the mustard. They could not agree on who they should appoint to replace Councilman Bill Morrison. Morrison, Janice Fuller Love, and Ed Ford Jr. won different Shelby County elections in August. They could have decided to resign right then and there, and voters would then decide who would replace them. But they didn't, and the result was last week's mess. Shelby County Commissioner Ed Ford Jr. says don't blame him, and that means you, Local 24 political analyst and commentator Otis Sanford. I saw something on 2430 with Otis Sanford, reckless journalism. Me looking at that is like looking at a Memphis Police Association billboard telling people not to come to Memphis. And you can quote me on that, Mike Matthews, to let them know that I said that. Uh, by the way, this is what Otis said. This is a sad day, in my view, of, of Memphis and city council members uh, who look at their own egos as opposed to serving uh, the public. Now, let's move on. Shelby County Commissioners are looking at possibly appointing somebody to replace State Senator Mark Norris. We don't have a lot of information before us, Commissioners. Most Commissioners we spoke with did not expect to have that type of trouble if they appoint somebody to replace Norris. There's no great pressure at this point to make a uh, selection. However, I'm not opposed to doing so. We will see what the will of the body is. Commissioners seemed intent not to have any problems when it comes to this, and one way they can do that perhaps is not have to appoint anybody at all and let you folks in the district decide. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.